I almost jumped. <laughs> but it is the most wonderful time of the year. Guys, I'm so happy to be filming this video. Welcome back to my channel where I make cleaning, cooking, homemaking, and thrifting videos. I think I said it all wrong, but whatever. For today's video, I I'm so excited. I am so excited to be making another video. I The last one that I did was a while ago. I think it was my thrifting video where I took you guys to an antique or thrifting store. And I've been really busy since, but it is the most wonderful time of the year. And I cannot wait to show you my um christmas decoration today i am sharing with you guys a lot of my um christmas decor that i will be using to decorate around our house now as you can see our christmas tree is up there's stockings already hung there's christmas trees around the house and i did start decorating for christmas already the i did film videos here and there while i was decorating so that i would be separating those little parts into different videos um i'm gonna do a coffee bar my hands are so dry i will be doing a christmas coffee bar decorate with me and i'm so excited for that i know that i said i was gonna do a fall one but i didn't really decorate that much for fall for my coffee bar there really wasn't a lot of things that I use for my coffee bar. So I really didn't think that it would be even a good video to show you guys. But for Christmas, I am definitely decorating my coffee bar. So stay tuned for that. I also have a lot of plans for Christmas um, as far as videos go because I want to do a thrifting Christmas gift guide and I will be doing a decorate a Christmas decorate with me but for today's video I will be showing you guys a lot of thrifted um ornaments that I came across uh last week and things that I've been thrifting along the way and I am so excited to show you because this year's Christmas theme is going to be a very eclectic col eclectic is collected right i think eclectic victorian style type of tree i have tinsel on our tree um i don't know if you guys can tell that there's tinsel but there's tinsel on our tree um there's going to be a lot of ornaments all over um i will put up a photo here to show you guys what style i'm trying to go for and then you will see why i've thrifted all of these beautiful beautiful um ornaments let me stop talking and let me show you but before that get yourself a coffee and hot cocoa <laughs> with marshmallows let me go ahead and stop talking and let's start with our ornaments i'm just gonna place mr santa claus right there Okay, so I went thrifting to our thrift stores on Bays. Um, we have two, one in Kadena and one in Foster. And they did their Christmas opening. And let me tell you, I waited about 45 minutes in the line because it wasn't as packed as... I don't think it was as packed as the one in Foster, but because they only have one register and they only work with cash, that's why they took the longest. Um, but I'm so excited. I waited because it was worth the wait. So the first thing I'm showing you is this ornament box. I This year, I want to be very organized with my ornaments i want to be able to collect these and take care of them for years and years to come and i also want to be able to pass these on to my children and my children's children so i want to be very organized and make sure that i have places to put my ornaments so i got two of these ornament boxes for three dollars each and i got these at the kadena thrift store and they're in perfect condition i love this ah! oh my gosh <laughs> and these are all of the ornaments that i thrifted i found this really pretty nativity scene it's pretty heavy um 
it is made of like um ceramic or like pottery and or clay and i just love 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 it so much it has the three kings and then it has baby jesus in the middle i just love it so much and this is gonna go straight on my tree so much and then i found this really pretty santa claus there was a bunch of these there was like a whole family and i was thrifting through a big bin in the kadena thrift store and ended up finding the little santa claus so i ended up keeping the santa claus which is so so pretty it looks pretty old too and i love it it says 1982 cmg i don't know what that is next little guy i found is this cute santa claus it's frosted with a bunch of like glitter like if it has snow on it it's so cute the little boots and it's a fat santa it's so so adorable i normally don't decorate with santa clauses but i just thought this was so cute and classic and i'm going for a very classic i don't i'm going for a classic 90s but victorian style tree i don't know i i understand my own brain but i ended up finding this one for also 50 cents the next thing i found is this beautiful ornament i've never seen anything like this it opens up like this the only thing is that it does not have the clasp in the front it came broken but i'm gonna fix that with just a little bit of like wire this is so beautiful as soon as i saw it i could not leave it honestly when i was waiting in the line for 45 minutes this was the ornament that i was thinking about i'm like i have to have that ornament i because i was this close to leaving the line i couldn't take it anymore this was stopping me from leaving because i've never seen an ornament like this before it is ceramic from the top to it is pretty heavy so it's gonna be heavy in the tree but it's okay um i have i have a two friends that gave me ideas on what to do with this ornament one of them said to put scented pine cones so it smells good and then the other one said to put sea glass since we live in okinawa japan in an island I could put sea glass in here and then incorporate a little bit of where we live on our tree. The next Santa Claus I found is this cutie patootie. This one looks really dirty and dingy and beautiful. I love it so, so much. It also has a little bit of rust at the bottom, but it's a little bell and it has a Santa Claus right on it. It's so pretty and adorable. So cute next santa claus is this one you can tell this one was definitely handmade but it is so cute i love it it has a little bell at the top and then you can see santa claus right there i love it and it could stand like this but it has a little string in the back so that i can hang it and i'm gonna hang it i might remove this from here and then put it up here so it hangs like this because if I put it on the tree it's just gonna be like this so it's so cute and then another Santa Claus that I found is this really pretty ceramic one this is just the face of the Santa Claus and um it said in the back $3.99 and then one dollar and then it was in the 50 cent bin so I'm so happy that I found this one the last Santa Claus theme ornament is this one right here this and that other round one that i showed you is one of my favorites this is just so beautiful i love the colors of the ornament and i just love the scene inside it's so beautiful and then it has glitter in the back it is also made of glass the next one is this really pretty crystal ball i've had this for two years this is going to be the third year and i found this at the thrift store and i thought it was super pretty but then when i read what it had on it i fell in love so i don't know if you guys can tell but it says 1992 and i was born in 1992 so i thought this was really special and i want this to be passed on to my children and my grandchildren so they have an ornament of the year their grandma was born if god allows me to have you know to grow that old and have grandchildren but this just 
I this is going to be one of those ornaments that are very sentimental and very valuable in our family I hope so up next is this really pretty ornament this is uh, Mary and Jesus and then it says peace on earth I just thought this was beautiful it reminds me of like um like a cathedral window like the way that it's shaped and I just thought it was so beautiful and very subtle and I just love it next is this is this uh, hummingbird I've had two years with this hummingbird already and I actually got this one at Daiso because it reminds me of my mom. My mom has an, a hummingbird tattooed on her wrist and this just reminded me of her and this is always going to be a part of our Christmas trees from now on. Um, I always put it there because it just reminds me of my mom. Um, since we are a military family, I don't get to see my, my mom a lot. I thought that I would include this in our Christmas tree because it reminded me of my mom next is this is so so me i love it so much this is a little duck it's kind of like a china wear transfer wear duck the everything from this ornament is absolutely beautiful from the ribbon that they used to hang it and the little duck is so so cute it's so pretty keeping with birds <laughs> I found this chicken ornament. Isn't that so cute? Look at the little bow. There's gonna be a little chicken in my, whoops. There's gonna be a little chicken in our Christmas tree. I found this really pretty duck. This was handmade for sure. Um, it kind of looks like the material of like brooms. And it was car like they're the little, and the little face was also carved. This is just so, so pretty. Another little hummingbird that I found is this one right here. This is made of glass and it looks like his wings used to be green, um, but they faded. So it just has a little bit of hint of green on his wings, but it is so beautiful. And I'm gonna show this to my mom because I haven't shown it to her and she's gonna love it. And this is another part of my mom that I'm gonna have in my tree is shell. And somebody somebody DIY'd this, it's a shell and it has, they mod podged a like napkin inside and then it says Oki 2022. We were here in 2022. Um, so my idea is to grab a few shells that I have in my stash and then do the same thing and then put every year that we've been here in Okinawa so that we can put it on our tree. Um, but I just thought this was a really neat idea. Okay, we're almost done with the collected ornaments and then I'm gonna move to the dining room so I can show you all the other bigger items that I've thrifted. The next one is this really pretty toy chest. This is so beautiful and it looks, I need to clean it because it's kind of dirty, but it looks super Christmassy to me. I cannot wait to put this up on our tree. It's going to look so beautiful with all the other ornaments. Just look how gorgeous that is. Ah, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. But it just has little toys on it and then a little bow. So beautiful. And these, oh my gosh, these are so, so pretty. You guys are so beautiful. I've never seen anything like this. So I found a set of these three ornaments and they were handmade and they're like sewed in felt i don't know what they are but it's a cross look at look at look at this okay just look at how beautiful this is so gorgeous and then i found the little christmas tree And then I found a little sock or what is it? A uh, stocking. So cute. I found all these three. Then I found a bunch of bells. I found this type of bell and this type of bell. And then I found an ornament bell like this one. 
I'm gonna put these on our tree and they're just so beautiful. I love all the colors of them. Um, this brassy color is my favorite, but I also love that these are shiny so you can kind of, so they can kind of shine with the Christmas lights too. And then I found more bells, but it's, they're in this really pretty, uh, like wine color. And as you can tell, I have wine colors in our Christmas tree already. And they're just so cute and tiny. Oh, Coraline. So... <laughs> I just I love these and I'm gonna put these inside the Christmas tree like hanging because we kind of have like a sparse type of Christmas tree and then the last two ornaments are is this one I love it so much it's so pretty I've never seen something like this and that is it for the ornament collection now i'm going to show you the bigger items that i've thrifted and other christmas things that i've bought i have bought some newer things but i didn't go crazy or anything like that because i didn't want to spend um i didn't want to spend too much on uh decorations because this is the time that we spend the most because we buy gifts for our children so i wanted to keep it keep it at a minimum so let's head to the dining room and then i will show you guys the bigger items that i got Alrighty, so i moved to the dining room so that i can have more space to show you guys these bigger items because honestly my legs were hurting just sitting on the floor my body is getting old and it's life Okay, the first thing is this really pretty, um, the first thing is this Christmas tree candle. It is ginormous, um, nobody wanted it, and of course, I wanted it, so I just thought it was so beautiful, since I am decorating a lot with red colors, I love very traditional Christmas decor, I'm over the neutral christmas the you know those like wooden triangle christmas trees like i bought them and i'm so ashamed of it okay like this this is what is this this is not christmas to me um it does light up and it's kind of cute i'm not gonna lie but this is not christmas to me this just looks like a freaking unicorn corn like <sighs> I need to make better choices next year. I love the colorful lights and reds and greens and all those beautiful Christmas colors that we that I grew up with. Um, yes, these trends are beautiful. I'm not gonna stand here and say, oh my gosh, they suck. No, they don't because they're super, super pretty and that style is absolutely beautiful. But I know for a fact that in my soul, I'm not that type of a person. But anyway, what? What am I saying? I just love the red traditional beautiful colors. Am I ever going to light this up? No, I don't think so because I don't want it to melt. So I am going to wrap this baby up with a lot of newspaper and bubble wrap. So whenever we end up moving, it lasts forever. And yeah, I got this for like 50 cents and it's just super heavy, super pretty, and I love it. The next thing I found is this really cute Christmas tree. I did buy this from the PX, but it was $7.99, and I just thought it was super pretty with all the glitter, all the glitter on it. Um, it's like a flat Christmas tree, but it looks like a very snowy wonderland type of Christmas tree. I thrifted this beautiful uh, little um, Christmas village house. I used to have like three of them i had this one and then i think i have like a fall looking one somewhere um in storage or something and i had a halloween one and i ended up getting rid of the halloween one and i kind of regretted i have been wanting to collect these houses like the christmas village houses and now they've become even more popular so the chances of me finding more of these are probably very slim, um, at least here in Japan. I have the little light, so I need to go buy the little uh, extension to put it in here and I can light it at night. Actually, I'm going to go do that later today because I have this in my coffee bar, which I'm going to show you guys later. Um, and I just wanted to light up and it has Santa Claus here with a little girl sitting on his lap. 
Look at this. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. I want to live in this house. I found this huge, long stocking. I found two of them and they look like they belong with each other. Like they go with each other except with different colors. But I found this one right here. It has little pom-poms up here and it's pretty long. And then I also found this one with these beautiful colors and it has a little bow on the side and it goes like this. These stockings, I'm not going to use them um, as actual stockings to put stuff for my kids. We've never really been a, a stocking gifting kind of family up until maybe three years ago where I each of the kids Three or four years ago, each of the kids have a stocking and I fill it with things. Um, so yeah, I guess you could say we're a stocking filling family now. But I found this really pretty one. I believe this is from Target, but I found it at the thrift store for a dollar. And then it has the N on it for Nicole. I wish I would have found E two E's for Emily and Edwin, but I didn't. And then I ended up finding this one with the letter D. Um, and at first I was like, well, it has a D, but then I'm like, well, I can turn it around, but then it could be for dad. <laughs> so this is officially dad's, my husband's, um, stocking for, for him. So I love it. I wish I would have found two more for Emily and Edwin, but it's okay. And then... I found this one. This one is also a really long stocking. It's like half of my size. Um, it's really pretty. It's I taken care of it really well. And I just love it so much. The color of it is beautiful. And yeah, now I have three long stockings. So I found this really pretty tinsel tree at the px in kadena this was not thrifted um this was bought new for 7.89 which was insane they still have a lot they have a gold one they have a pink one they have a white one and they have this silver silver goldish one but i found these beautiful shiny bright um ornaments they were a dollar for the box. I These are my first ever shiny bright ornaments ever, ever. I found these and I am so happy that I have them in my possession. Every single one of these are beautiful, but my favorite is this one right here. It's gorgeous. <laughs> and then I also found this little tin can at the thrift store too it's super super pretty it has a little barn with snow i um love these little scenes i'm decided that i'm gonna start collecting them i used to have like three of the big popcorn ones but I got sucked into the more modern Christmas and all that stuff when I was barely finding my my aesthetic or my style of decor or whatever you want to call it. And I got rid of them and I regret it. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. I'm pretty sure I'll find more. And then it came with this lid on it too. And then this is what made me want to start collecting little tin uh cans even if i buy them new, buy them new it's completely okay um but i'd much rather find them at the thrift store because they're cheaper but i was at the commissary with my kids and we found this these tins of chocolate and you guys how gorgeous are these oh my goodness so I have them displayed. One of them I have it in an easel and then one of them I have it by my coffee bar. And then this is not Christmassy per se. It's more like fall, I think. But I found this one and they had it in the Christmas section. That's why I got it. But then when I came home, I saw that it wasn't Christmas, but it's still so beautiful. It has this little scene of a bakery. Oh my God, the cookies. The bakery and then it has like a fall tree but look at how pretty. 
I want to be able to collect these so that I can put little Christmas trees in them. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way here. I really hope that you enjoyed this chatty, thrifty video. Um, I cannot wait to show you guys all the new video ideas that I have in mind. And in the name of Jesus, I pray that I'm able to do it. And also I'm sending lots of prayers for any of you guys that are watching. If you're going through something, just remember that God loves you. Jesus loves you. He gave his life for you and you are not alone. You are 100% special and his best creation that he's ever done. And you are loved by him. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next Christmas video. I think it's going to be my coffee bar decorate with me and I'm so excited or No, I think it's gonna be Christmas tree decorate with me So we'll see. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye You guys I completely forgot to show you this but I also found this beautiful tree skirt now it has a bunch of <laughs> tree particles <laughs> a bunch of like um tinsel on it because of my tree but i found this at the thrift store in the beginning of this year so christmas was already over and i couldn't use it unfortunately but this year i am 100 using it i think i got it for three dollars actually i didn't pay for it there was a sweet lady that was before me and I asked the cashier if she could hold it for me so I can go get cash. And the sweet lady ended up paying it for me. She's like, no, I'll pay for it. I was like, no, no, please let me. I'll just be, I'll be right back. She's like, no, it's okay. I go to school with your son and um, I'll give it for you. So she ended up buying it for me and paid it. And I was so, oh, I was so grateful to her. And I am so happy that this is mine. Um, I ended up going back the next day to the school and I got her a Starbucks as a thank you. But I, it has, it's made of like felt um, and it has little buttons on Christmas trees. I love the colors that they chose, the ribbon and everything. And then the little tassels are so cute with the buttons. I am, I'm in love with this tree skirt. I normally use just blankets around it like like a little blanket um super cute like kind of like snow but this year this is actually my first time ever using a tree a uh, tree skirt and i'm obsessed with it you guys it is absolutely beautiful oh my gosh my little table broke i know it's very chaotic in this tree right now because <laughs> there's so much there's so much tinsel but i will show you guys a more prettier view once we decorate the christmas tree together um so yeah i'm like very excited to show you guys how everything's gonna look like but yeah i wanted to show you this i completely forgot to show it you in the video and i didn't want to take it down and then have to put it back in so this is it under the tree mm -hmm.